In the book of Daniel, it talks about how those who lead others to righteousness will shine like the stars forever and ever. And I think that's what Daniel does. He shines truth and hope to those around him. So the character of Daniel is taken from Jerusalem. He's thrown into the ultimate kingdom of this world, which is Babylon, and it is ruled by the ultimate king of the world, Nebuchadnezzar. This guy is wild, this kingdom is wild. It was the epicenter of everything that was forward moving in the world. It was a renaissance of empire. But if you're looking at it through the lens that Daniel would have had, you would know that this place is ruled by the dark powers of the world. Daniel is like, Lord, how do I serve you here? He lives his life open-handed, seeks the guidance of the Lord in the middle of it, and God helps him identify this is serving me or this is serving them. That's how to be a citizen of the kingdom of heaven while living in the kingdom of Babylon. He couldn't let anything else compete for his worship. That was always the choice that he would make. Daniel and the boys didn't know that they were gonna be delivered from the danger that they were in. It was never about being saved from physical death. It was about aligning with God no matter what. The miracle is that they're able to be hopeful whether they live or whether they die. Hope is something that Daniel has to consistently choose. It's something he has to consistently fight for. It's hope in a good king that's coming, and that is what gives him the strength to keep going. I hope that when people experience Daniel's story, they'll walk away feeling inspired and encouraged to keep going. Keep doing what you know is right. Do not weary in well-doing, because he is worth serving now. Even though everything around you can be telling you that it's hopeless, there's always hope with the Lord.